Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA here, and today I want to show you a little bit more of your um, basic property setup. Today, specifically, is going to be the servo assignment. So the way you get to this is you hit your main menu, your model, and then you go servo assignment. Now, if you've started programming and you need to make a change in your basic properties menu, we recommend that you save whatever progress you've, you've gotten and you start a completely new model. One small change will affect all of your other settings in your servo assignments, function assignments, and your switch assignments. Uh, if you choose to continue on with the model that you have, you can, even though we do not recommend it, um, you, you do that by hitting this auto button right here. So if I hit the auto button, it'll ask me if I want to assign automatically, and I hit yes, and it's almost like a refresh for that screen. So in the servo assignment screen, what we're going to be looking at is when you set up your model, the system will automatically assign all of your pins on your receiver to a specific function. If you do not want to keep it that way, you want to move it around, you can change that here. You'll see the numbers 1 through 16 in this case um, on, on the side. These are your pins, your slots in your receiver to plug in your servo. If you want to change what is assigned there, you simply you know, use a 3D button to select what you want to change, and you highlight it. And now I can change whatever I want in whatever pin I want. Um, for this case, I'm going to leave everything the same, but I want to show you something neat. Say, for example, you're running rudder, and you have two servos, but you want it to go into one input um, channel on your transmitter. You can do that by actually just adding it to the next pin or whatever pin you want it on your receiver. So I'm going to go to pin 8 here, and I'm going to add rudder. Right there. So now I've assigned that, and you can see that both 7 and 8 have the rudder assigned. Now, if you look um, further up at 3 and 4, you see flap 1 and flap 2. This is different than having rudder assigned in two locations. This right here, the flap 1 and the flap 2, is actually individual channel inputs. So you have two different channels controlling flap 1 and flap 2. When I went down and added rudder, I have one channel controlling one, um, one set, one function, so your rudder. So let's take a look. I want to show you how to um, check to see what is actually assigned. So you're going to hit OK once you've added what you want, and we're going to go back to your, your home screen. Go into your main menu and click on the servo monitor. Here you can actually see now all of the switches and what they're assigned to. Now when I moved my P3 switch, you'll see both 7 and 8 move for the rudder. So that's how I added that. Whereas with the ailerons, you're going to have two separate controls. So, and then you also, you know, can see the, the name of the function here. So aileron 1, um, aileron 2, flap 1, flap 2, again, two separate, and your rudder 1 and rudder 1 because it's the same. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via email or phone. You can find all of our contact information on jettyusa.com. Thanks for watching.